Hello and welcome to Thomas Geiger car. Today with the new Rolls-Royce Spectre, the first real ultra luxurious EV because electric mobility is conquering the next segment of the market. We have tons of compact electric SUVs. We have some luxury SUVs. We have tons of small city cars and we have a few electric hypercars. But what was missing was an EV to arrive in luxury and style until now, because now it's time for the Rolls-Royce Spectra. If you want to know what to expect from that vehicle that will hit the market towards the end of the year, join me on my first test drive and I'll tell you all about it. On the first look, the Spectra just seems to be the replacement of the race, but that's wrong. It's a totally new car with new dimensions and a new design built on a dedicated EV platform. The car has an impressive length of 5 meters 50. I think that's the longest coupe you can get. It is very low if you consider the almost 10 centimeters battery in the floor and it is very aero efficient. Yes, it is a big car with a big front, but Rolls-Royce has done quite a lot of work to make this car aero efficient. Not that range will really matter, but they wanted to have it as sleek as possible with a giant like that. And since the car has so much presence, you don't need a lot of Lametta. Yes, you have that eye-catching dual color painting scheme, but over that, that's all. There is not too much silver, not too much gliss and glamour around, except for the front. We have very fancy lightning and for sure we have the Pantheon grille and we have the Spirit of Ecstasy. And even the Spirit of Ecstasy is contributing to the aero efficiency because it went into the wind tunnel as well, received a facelift and is now sleeker than ever. Yes, even in a Rolls Royce you can witness traffic jams and stop and go. It's never been so comfortable as in the Spectra, but nevertheless it's going slow, giving you the time to look around and take a closer look at color and trim, fit and finish. Also the Spectra feels pretty familiar, as familiar as a Rolls-Royce can feel to someone like us. So the layout is the same as we know it from the Phantom, from the Wraith, but it's heavily modernized. Especially the digital art in the car is modernized. We have a new digital cluster instrument with new graphics, pretty fancy. It's like, yeah, a bit of Bauhaus, a bit of modernism. And always with the twinkle in the eye, well, the needle of the speedometer goes up. You have some sparkles like star flakes uh, that are sparkling around the scale. It's fancy. Not sure if I really like it and if it really fits to the old traditional luxury. But Rolls-Royce tries to leave all these old luxury world behind and become new and modern luxury. And for that reason, this is really great. All the other gadgets and gimmicks are still in the car. We have carpets as deep as my ankles. We have thick leather. We have wood. We have the Starlight headliner with thousands of LEDs crafted into the ceiling and into the doors. And most of all, we have real material. There is no much plastic in the car. What looks like metal is metal. You can feel that because it's cold and you can even hear that if you click it with your fingernails, it is a real decent and nice sound, something that is really well done and well executed. The cling of the metal also is incorporated in the blinker sound, so they've really taken lots of attention to the details to make this car a unique piece of art. They won't like to hear it at BMW, but when you drive the Spectra, you're basically sitting in a 7 Series in a smoking at least when it comes to the technology, because this car is an i7 based vehicle with an own architecture and own platform, but battery 102 kilowatt hours in capacity is from the 7 series, same as the two motors, one at each, one at each axle. In this configuration, you have 584 horsepower, 900 Newton meters of torque, means it's easy to say goodbye to the V12 engine with somehow similar specs. But it is 7 Series technology, totally new setup, totally new refinement. And if you want to describe how a Rolls-Royce drives, you have to learn new words. Waftability is the one, effortlessness is the second, and magic carpet ride is the third word to describe a Rolls-Royce. 
and that was really important to the engineers the Spectre should most of all feel like a Rolls-Royce and only second drive like an electric vehicle. This effortlessness just means it goes as smooth as you can imagine and the waftability somehow points in the same direction. You don't have to think about power, it's just enough and it's even so much that they reduced it and they turned it down when you start, otherwise the champagne would spill out of the glasses on the back seat. Nevertheless, the car can accelerate pretty fast from 0 to 100 in less than 5 seconds and if you go full throttle and if you really are in a hurry, you can go up to 250 km per hour. Not that I think Rolls-Royce owners will ever be in a hurry because they are masters of their own time, but if they want to, they can. Usually that affects the range of a car pretty much and that is the same with a Rolls-Royce. The car does not stand beyond physics but it doesn't matter. Rolls-Royce drivers only go short distances. They go from their home to their office and if they have a longer distance they just go to the airport and sit on their private plane. So nobody asks about the range which is by the way quite impressive. In the WLTP cycle it goes up to 500 kilometers. In reality it might be 350, 400 kilometers depending on climate and on driving style and Charging is also pretty fast. Thanks to the mother company in Munich, it charges with 195 kilowatts at the DC charger, which is amongst the faster cars. Not that I really would see a Rolls Royce owner at the supermarket or at the charging station waiting there in the rain, sitting around and getting bored, but if they need to, they can. Otherwise, it's hassle free. You get your own Rolls Royce wall box at home or in the office. Go home, plug the car at the evening and start with a full car in the morning. All that comes with a price and since we're sitting in a Rolls Royce that price is extremely high. The base model starts at 380,000 euros. That's twice the price of a BMW i7. And none of the Rolls Royce customers will be satisfied with a base model even if that's very luxurious already. Usually they take another 100 or 200,000 euros on extras like the hand-painted coach line on the side, the two-color scheme, stitching, leather, the starlight headliner, all that adds up and you will easily sit in a car that's worth more than half a million euros. Does it matter? No, it doesn't. Rolls-Royce is not telling any numbers of pre-orders but they're pretty confident and they're pretty happy with the reaction of their clients. 40% of the clients are new to the brand and I assume production of the first year will be sold out already. So if you order your Spectra now, you're not going to get your vehicle before the end of next year. For sure, the best place in the house is behind the steering wheel, especially if we're talking about almost 600 horsepower and 900 Newton meters of torque. But Rolls-Royce is not only about driving, it's a chauffeur's car. It's always been and will always be, even with the coupe. And since this car has a gigantic length of almost 5 meters and 50, there is ample room on the back seat as well. It's not the most elegant way to get in and out of the vehicle, I must admit, at least if you're not gymnastic star or yoga hero. But once you're sitting here, you're sitting really comfortable, enjoying the perfect craftsmanship of the material, enjoying enough headroom, enough legroom, and you have a really cozy feeling because the car almost wraps around you. You're not sitting on the car, you're sitting in the car. That's not only behind the wheel, that's also the case in the second row. And if you really want to arrive in style and don't want to climb out the back seat, you just have to be a bit patient. Rolls-Royce has promised 2030 the full range will be all electric only. So an electric Phantom is in the making and an electric Cullinan successor for a big luxury SUV is also in the pipeline. Until then, enjoy the seat or send your driver home and enjoy the driver's seat, which is the best seat in the house either way. Thanks for joining me on that first test drive with the new Rolls-Royce Spectra, a car that opens up a totally new perspective on electric mobility and a car that lets you forget the famous V12 engine 
with an ease. I'm sorry to say, and I never would expect it to say that I don't miss the V12 at all. This car is just effortless, pure driving, fun and luxury, and you don't care by what it is propelled. I'm sure it will not save the world, especially with that price tag. It might not even change the world, but it will change the way people conceive luxury mobility in the future. Thank you, Shishye, Sai Tien, and goodbye.